Now let's see how to skin the uterus and ovaries. To see the uterus and ovaries, recently, a transvaginal probe has been used a lot, and abdominal ultrasound. So, when performing a transabdominal scan, you must fill the bladder with urine and test it, but you can know for sure. As I said earlier during the bladder exam, a longitudinal scan is performed on the upper pubic bone, and the bladder must be filled with more than 250 cc of urine. When it is not filled, various anatomical restrictions follow. We are, I think of a normal uterus as being in the middle like this, but sometimes it can be slightly skewed, or it can be skewed on the left and right on this side. Therefore, although longitudinal scans are performed in the upper pubis, virtually tilt the probe slightly, either give an angle this way, or place the probe here. One trick is that you can get a slightly better image if you scan it at an angle by giving it an angle to this side. I hope you know that. Now, when you scan it like this, you will see something like this. Now this is where the bladder will be observed. This is what the uterus looks like below, and this is the fundus of the uterus, and this is the cervix of the uterus. What you see here as a bright line is the endometrium. From here to here is myometrium. This is myometrium in the back. Now, when the uterus looked like this, it is normal to measure the length from the bottom of the uterus to the cervix and not exceed 9 centimeters. You can see it like this. So, the one that can measure this length is utilized in the longitudinal scan. Another thing is this cul de sac for women. Cul de sac is called Douglas pouch. It is an important anatomical structure within the pelvis that can be quite indicative of any disease. When you see any fluid in your pelvis, the first thing you see is the cul de sac. That's right here in the back of the uterus. This is true in this part, but under normal conditions, it is just a smooth bright line shade. When there is liquid here, it appears as a cystic pattern. Let's see how to see the uterus and ovaries through the upper longitudinal scan. Orient the probe to the 12 o'clock position in this way, if it is slightly inclined and turned to the left. The shape of the uterus will be observed well, as it is now. This is what the uterus looks like. This is the bladder first. The bladder is full of urine. This part becomes the uterine fundus. This part becomes the cervix of the uterus. This part is going to be the vagina. The lining of the uterus appears as a bright shading. And this black band from yobi to yo becomes the myometrium. And from yobi to yo is also the myometrium. So, the normal size of the uterus is the normal size in the range that does not exceed 9 cm by measuring the length from the uterine fundus to the cervix. You can see it like this. Another thing is that when looking at the surface of the uterus, it should look smooth like this without local protrusion or depression to be a normal uterus. The same goes for the rear as well. These images are of a normal uterus. You can see it like this. Thank you.